18 teams from 11 countries do battle at the Sage Valley Golf Club for the World Club Championship. You may have noticed that the putting surfaces at Sage Valley are well nigh flawless. The reason lies beneath all 18 greens. To golf architects and superintendents who continually search for methods to improve these surfaces, it's the missing link to near perfection. A superintendent's worst enemy as far as turf is concerned is too much water. And all of a sudden, Subair shows up and it's like, there's our answer. With our system, we're going to ensure that each green, the surface of each green, is dry. And just how is that possible? Subair President Mike Corbin explains. Well, Subair had its beginning in 1994. It was developed at Augusta National, invented by Marsh Benson, who was a superintendent at the course at the time. Aesthetically, it's very appealing because you don't see a hint of it on the golf course. All of our work is underground. Uh, we bury a vault which contains a motor and a blower. We dig a small trench over to the main line of the green. That main line is connected in herringbone pattern to a gravel layer under the green and then a sand layer. So by moving air in and out of that drainage pipe through the gravel layer, through the sand layer, we really get complete coverage on that entire green. We eliminate excess moisture and we provide fresh oxygen. So it's just natural that you're going to have healthier turf using Subair. Uh, now you can find Subair on all the top venues uh, in this country, top 100 courses, tournament stops. We've just installed it at the TPC Sawgrass. There is no way I would do a green without it. It's one of those kind of things that I think that probably most people in the golf industry say, gosh, I wish I would have met at that. Rain delays and shortened tournaments due to inclement weather always put a damper, if you will, on the total experience. From late in the evening to early morning, prior to round two, two inches of rain fell on Sage Valley. But not to worry, no tee times were delayed and the stimp meter read as if there hadn't been a drop. We turned the sub-air systems on about 12.30 uh, last night, ran them all the way till play started dried them up pretty well. We didn't lose any green speed. We stayed right at 12 on the stint meter. Which to the players who woke up to the pouring rain was quite astonishing. The fairways were after two inches of rain as you expect a little heavy but the greens were extraordinary. I, I couldn't believe it. It was like there'd been no rain at all. The sub air system that's in these greens really has dried them out. That sub air has helped them out an awful yeah. lot. When we got up got over there putting and I said geez I think they're just as fast as they were the day before. Sub air yeah. system like that. That's, that's why uh, we think uh, the green is so fast and the green condition is uh, really, really bad and nice. Two inches of rain or something fell and the greens were so perfect they were like yeah. the day before, you know, so. Sub-air worked, so, you know, this, uh, it, it's a testament.